and my pleasure to be with you for this uh, short seminar as a series of uh, uh, contribution between uh, NUS School of Computing, Advanced Computing for Executive Center and uh, Singapore uh, Skill Future uh, Organization. The topic of uh, today's seminar is uh, AI and machine learning uh, for digital uh, transformation. We are going to uh, actually uh, find a bridge uh, between uh, these two disruptive technologies, AI and machine learning, and digital transformation a phenomenon that uh, has been around us for uh, at least a decade, even more. So let's move ahead with the uh, presentation and uh, see what we uh, can learn uh, today. Uh, the topic, as I said, AI and machine learning for digital transformation. Um, and uh, this means that the application is digital transformation, something that many businesses uh, have done already. And many businesses are thinking about that because it is seriously necessary for any business to take care of and to go for digital transformation. And actually many of them uh, have done that so far. Uh, more or less to some extent. Uh, it tends to be uh, a must for many businesses and we uh, would like to see if AI and machine learning can help us to have uh, a kind of more efficient uh, digital transformation. Uh, in this seminar, we are going to describe the ways AI and machine learning can uh, help us to have easy, uh, cheap, uh, fast and effective digital transformation in different businesses. Uh, all solutions can be customized nowadays uh, to address all the businesses or a unique business uh, challenges. Okay, uh, it means that in some cases we have got some special challenges for a particular business. In some cases, no, we are dealing with a general challenge for all the businesses. For instance, uh, that pandemic, that Corona pandemic was a, a general challenge for all the businesses all around the world, more or less. Uh, th there, there are some tools to help us to face those challenges. We know that we uh, are in the middle of digital transformation and uh, how can we uh, have the best, the optimal digital transformation? Okay, this is a big question. This is a big question. What I'm going to uh, address today is how AI and uh, machine learning can help us with that, can help us to have a, a better digital transformation, easier, uh, less costly uh, digital transformation. Um, okay. Uh, let's move ahead and see what we can see in this uh, short seminar. After introduction, we have got definitions of these three topics, AI, machine learning, and digital transformation. Then we will talk about how those two disruptive technologies can uh, help us in digital transformation sequence. And uh, we will see a few real world examples of AI and machine learning for digital transformation and the merits of uh, using these two advanced technologies uh, during uh, digital transformation and uh, after having digital transformation operational. AI and machine learning are not here just to help us during the uh, transformation of our business into the digital world. Uh, there is no full stop over there. We need to uh, update our business. We need to be ready to use uh, uh, modern options. And um, during this uh, procedure of digital transformation and after having our business digital and uh, new way of operations, still AI and machine learning can help us 
to keep everything on the on track and keep everything fluent and effective. So AI and machine learning can help us uh, to run our digital uh, business as well. So these field world examples are here to review, and then we will see uh, a few approaches and roadmap about uh, implementation of AI and machine learning in digital transformation. And finally, we conclude that uh, at the end. Uh, a bit about me, I'm a senior lecturer at the School of Computing and working in uh, adult education with ACE as well. Uh, my expertise is in AI and machine learning as well as machine vision and IoT. I have published uh, a few papers on those areas as well as teaching those courses too. Uh, what you can see here in the uh, right side of this uh, slide, okay, that's me. And this is uh, a very old computer, the one that I started programming and getting familiar with uh, computers to back to 1984, sometimes a very old personal computers are uh, uh nothing compatible or comparable with modern computers that you are using now uh introduction okay let's get back to mit sloan college description of digital transformation they describe that as the use of technology to radically improve performance this is an important point. AI machine learning will help us to improve the performance of our business. Digital transformation radically uh, improve the performance of our business as well. This is a change in culture to reach of uh, a better customer relationship, better internal processes and value proposition main goals in digital transformation. Okay, the main goal, general goal is improvement of our performance, performance of our, our business. Uh, however, uh, we can um, uh, improve our customers, interfaces with customers, interfaces with uh, service providers as well, internal processes and value propositions. Um, digital transformation is not only about optimization of our interface or external facing with customer. Okay, uh, once we had a shop, people uh, come and buy. Now we have got uh, a website. People can order online. This is digital transformation. This is the way that uh, the interface between our business and customer would be transformed uh, using digital technology. Okay, but digital transformation is not only uh, digitalization of the interface of our company with outer war. As I said, it's not only customers, but also government but also the administrations, but also the service providers. So to all of them, uh, our contributors, we changed the interface and we have made that interface digital now. However, digital transformation is not only that, but also improving our internal procedures and processes as well. And in all of those goals, three, goals, AI and machine learning can help us. In all of them, AI and machine learning can help us. So let's have a look at the definition of AI. Uh, two definitions over here, very similar with each other. We know that artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence uh, and its processes by machines, by systems. And we know that we typically use computers to implement AI. It's not possible to implement AI in other uh, products uh, apart from a digital computer. And development of systems that can uh, think and behave like us, they are definitions of AI. Machine learning and its uh, 
sub branches such as supervised learning, reinforcement learning, unsupervised learning are an important subset of AI systems. Machine learning is an important subset of AI, where we try to have a kind of flexible design for our intelligent systems. And inside that flexible design, we need to uh, use data and feedback, feedback from experts, feedback from environment and data to train our machine learning system. So machine learning systems are intelligent, but not only intelligent, but also flexible, and they have got the ability of learning from uh, feedback, learning from data to improve their uh, performance and get ready to do the job. Uh, the uh, ability uh, of machine learning systems in dealing with complicated uh, problems and duties is much better than traditional AI systems. They are better in dealing with real world problems. Uh, this diagram shows the AI as a general subset of uh, intelligent systems and machine learning as a uh, learnable, trainable uh, agents inside the family of uh, AI and uh, with, with uh, variant of functionality, with dynamic functionality and deep learning as an important subset of machine learning where we have got some uh, brain-like structures to take care of uh, complicated uh, problems. Uh, like uh, controlling a car in uh, a real streets or something like this. And we have got data analytics, data science. Um, there are some strong uh, correlation between and the strong relations between AI and data science that you can see that in this diagram. Um, so uh, we are going to uh, define a uh, digital transition in details as well. However, before that, uh, this is a typical question. This is a usual uh, question. What is a digitization? What is digitalization? What are the differences between these two? Uh, actually, my friends, we can assume that digitization was something necessary, um, a kind of prerequisite uh, for uh, digitalization. We can consider digitization as coming of our analog traditional uh, data resources into the digital one. And not necessary in the business, consider that once we had uh, got uh, film cameras, now we have got digital cameras in our smartphones, etc. Once we had got uh, pen and paper, now we have got uh, uh, web-based forms and questionnaires to complete. Uh, we had got, uh, uh, let's say, for instance, a tape recorder. Now we have got uh, flash drives and digital audio uh, files to listen, uh, I don't know, podcasts, etc. These are This is the G digitization, converting data, document, and processes from analog to digital, from paper to uh, computer forms, and so on. Um, there are some examples about that. Um, about businesses, consider that that uh, problem of uh, converting your shop into online shop. This is not only digitization. Of course, you need digitization. But this is digitalization. This is something more general, uh, something more important and essential compared to digitization. We are going to change a culture. We are going to change the way that we uh, do the business. This is digitalization, not only changing the documents and processes uh, into computerized one, into digital one, but also to change the culture, the procedures, and the way that we do their business. 
transforming business processes by leveraging digital technology, ultimately resulting in opportunities for improving our efficiency and uh, therefore revenue, therefore revenue performance, etc. Uh, because we have got digital data and because all the processes are digital now, we can analyze that data. We can use internet as a platform to get connected with other parties in our business. Those other parties could be customers, could be suppliers, could be anything. We can uh, completely uh, transform our supply chain into digital world. This is digitalization. Using digital technology to transform everything into digital format into computers, into uh, web-based platforms, into the digital world. And it uh, is a kind of changing the business model and changing a culture in your business. Now everything is digital. Now we have finished the digital transformation and this transformation contains changing a culture a way of doing the business. Uh, definition of digital transformation, it is a radical change of using technologies. And uh, it will change the way that uh, you do the job. And uh, because all the businesses have uh, transformed themselves into a uh, digital world, this is a kind of changing the ecosystem as well. Now the ecosystem is digital. So digital transformation, because it is usual, because majority of businesses have done that or are going to do that, it means changing the ecosystem of uh, businesses, economy, organizations, everything as well. So operations and culture all would be transformed uh, into digital format or transferred to ICT world, virtual world. No matter what the format of job is, digital transformation impacts that. And the way that you do your job usually uh, it won't be uh, here after digital transformation. It, it gets better, it's get, it, it gets more efficient. Um, and this is a must, nobody can avoid that. Nobody can ignore that. If you wanna stay in this uh, uh, world, you need to be a part of digital transformation. Okay, so um, this is the way that, uh, we can continue to be successful. This is the way that we can uh, stay on top, personally in our business or in our country. As ever, I should insist that digital transformation uh, has got three levels. Personally, now you use your digital camera, you use your mobile phone to set up your meetings, you use Zoom to attend those meetings, just like here, just like here, we are, in a Zoom meeting. Uh, in a business level, yes, you change the uh, procedure and culture. And in national level, a digital nation would be in better situation in this very competitive world. So people, yes, they would be affected by uh, digital transformation, but let's start with uh, organization in this nice diagram, uh, scaling the edge of businesses and corporates with uh, digital ICT uh, world. And uh, again, in operations and maintenance, we use digital technology. Uh, we have got a new innovative uh, way to do the job inside our business. So the internal culture, uh, of our business would be changed. Again, we have changed the interface in dealing with customers and suppliers. So uh, again, we can see that people 
who would like to use our services need to be a part of this digital world. And this cycle now is complete. Organization, internal affairs, interfaces, people. Back to us, the results would be new expectations by our customers. Now, all the restaurants should be ready to accept uh, the orders online. Yeah, that's the way to go. All the big banks need to have uh, apps, internet banking, uh, applications, etc. All the universities should be ready to have online students. Yeah, that's another thing. And after having all of those things done, we will be in the center of that digital environment, a virtual digital environment. And if we move towards the end of that, we will be in a very different world. The world that some people even uh, dare to develop something called metaverse on that. The end line of digitalization and digital transformation would be being in metaverse or something like that. Um, so complete cycle of digital transformation. And finally, we will have digital environment to ensure that uh, digital infrastructure can answer all the requests and we have got a safe, reliable digital environment to do our uh, jobs and our requests and any service that we would like to have or provide. As a customer, I need to have my services uh, digital. As a business, I need to provide those services in digital format. Again, uh, types of digital transformation, let's start with uh, 12 o'clock. We have got process transformation. Everything was analog, was face-to-face. -face. Now they are digital uh, via uh, web, etc. So uh, we have got four types of digital transformation based on the um, uh, based on the literatures and based on the uh, uh, real world examples. The first one is process transformation where we change the processes, internal processes of our business into, into digital form. Uh, business model transformation, yes, uh, to gain from digital world, in many cases, we need to change our business model from traditional to digital one. The things that uh, has uh, been started in 1980s after PC revolution, then uh, the internet uh, has sped it up in the 90s and 2000s, and now, uh, thanks to uh, World Wide Web, uh, smartphones, uh, IoT, etc., we are here in a world with different and new business models. A uh, domain transformation means that you may need to change the domain of your business. What is the meaning of that? Okay, traditional taxis. Okay, uh, a driver, uh, his or her car, drive. Now those taxi companies may go towards something like Grab. And after having Grab, your domain is not only having some passengers, but also transferring the goods and uh, meals and other things that people uh, digitally have ordered. Yes, yes. Domain transformation, not only passengers, but in this digital world, a taxi company can transfer the uh, commodities as well. Uh, food, etc. This is domain transformation. This is domain transformation in education. Okay, we uh, had got classes and face-to-face -face classes, exams, etc. 
Not domain transformation means that universities are involved in online teaching, in developing online asynchronous um, contents for people who would like to uh, learn something, but without attending that uh, classes. So domain transformation uh, will happen after digital transformation, after changing your processes, after changing your uh, business models. And then we have got cultural and organizational transformation. Now, uh, employers will accept that employees can stay home and do the job. Very simple case. Very simple case. Now universities may accept that students can stay home and still be students and attend the courses and finish uh, a degree. Yeah, this is a change in culture. So uh, some businesses may uh, go for just process transformation. Some may go for process and business model. Some may gain from this new technology to uh, develop and to move towards new domains. And some may go for all the four types of digital transformation. So now after finishing the definitions, definitions of AI, machine learning, those two disruptive technologies, and a brief review of how digital transformation can help us as a person or as a business. Uh, let's see what AI and machine learning have got to do with digital transformation. Uh, digital transformation actually um, uh, needs AI and machine learning simply because, simply because now uh, we have got data. And we need to extract that data after digital transformation, everything would be uh, data. Uh, any stage of our business generates many data. That data could be just uh, computer transactions. When you use your credit card or debit card to buy something or transfer money to someone in banking. Uh, Whenever as a student you attend an online exam, you generate a kind of uh, digital answers. And uh, there are many other examples. Whenever you book a Grab car, whenever you order a food using one of those online uh, uh, food providers, such as, I don't know, Panda, Deliveroo, et cetera, in Singapore, uh, you generate some digital data. You uh, make some digital uh, transactions and means that you generate some digital data and then we need to handle them. And for handling this big amount of data, we definitely means a need AI and machine learning. Why? Because we want to learn from that data. We want to analyze that data and get ready for uh, uh, the future. Again, because now we have started digital transformation, we may go for a kind of automation using uh, bots, using robots, using automatic software. Those automatic software mostly uh, would be controlled by a kind of AI and machine learning. So now digital technology allow me to improve uh, the percentage or, or increase the percentage of automatic processes in my business. And to control those uh, automatic processes, we need a kind of AI and machine learning to make decisions, to control the different stages of a procedure or process or something like this uh, with the possibility of integrating different systems and automating several tasks after it is possible after digitalization to automate digital uh, automate many tasks now to do that automation what we need is something intelligent automation means decision making 
means controlling all needs AI. And again, uh, important part of AI is machine learning. So because we have got digital data, we need AI and machine learning for uh, insight discovery because it is possible to automate more uh, duties. We need AI and machine learning to control that automatic uh, processes instead of human operate. These are two important points where AI and machine learning uh, help digital uh, organization after digital transformation. When we're talking about um, digital transformation, uh, a, an important part of that is data. An important part of that is data. I'll just consider this simple fact. From the dawn of civilization until 2003, humankind generated five exabytes of data. Five exabytes uh, during the, I don't know, uh, 5,000 years, 10,000 years from the dawn of civilization till 2000. Now in 2020, 2022, uh, we produce five exabytes every two days. 10,000 years to generate five exabytes of data. Two days in 2020, 2022, 2022, 2024 to generate five exabyte more data. This is the meaning of being at the beginning of big data revolution. And big data revolution will bring explosion of intelligence. It definitely bring explosion of intelligence as well. I quoted that from Eric Schmidt, who is one of the uh, high rank managers in Google. Uh, okay, and uh, this table shows you what is the meaning of exabyte. We have a kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, which is two power 30 byte of information, terabyte, one terabyte, two terabyte is the capacity of your external hard drive, petabyte, and then finally exabyte, which is two uh, power 60 byte of information. And we generate five exabyte in two days and two or two and a half exabyte every day. Oh my God, why? Because now we have got everything digital photos, videos, audios, uh, World Wide Web, news, social media, Facebook, and so on, messengers, and so on. Um, in addition to resulting in faster and more efficient operation, this is one of the uh, side effects, good side effects of digital transformation. These technologies, means AI and machine learning, are important because they allow better use of data, as I mentioned earlier. Now we have got data. This is a raw material. We can refine that to get through new information, knowledge, and finally, wisdom. What is the meaning of that? Uh, consider crude oil. Crude oil, raw material. This is a smelly, this is dark, this is not useful. You even can't uh, uh, burn it easily. Crude oil is very hard to burn. So nobody can use it. But if you refine that, if you refine that, you will have gasoline, you will have plastics, you will have tens of thousands of useful things. Uh, chemical materials, uh, medicine, etc., uh, perfume, Many of them would be extracted from crude oil, cruising, gasoline, gas, etc. But after refinement, now you have digitally transformed your business. You generate data. This is just like crude oil. AI and machine learning can help you to refine that and get to some good results, some useful knowledge and uh, wisdom uh, hidden inside that data, just like tens of thousands of things that we uh, obtain by refining the crude oil. Okay, 
Uh, machine learning AI allow us to use all the, this information and take our business further, either by improving current products and services, both product and services, or by the possibility of new innovative strategies. They will help you after digital transformation. Digital transformation, my friends, itself uh, improves your performance. But after adding AI and machine learning with that, they can uh, improve your performance even further by data analytics. Undoubtedly, the most significant impact is the learning that the machines gave to the human being uh, a much more excellent notion about the scenario that we are inserted in. What is the meaning of that? Means that we have got a scenario to generate data. This is one of the side products of our uh, now digital uh, business. But that side products can uh, fit back into your system after being analyzed by machine learning and AI and give you insight, give you a better understanding of challenges and how to uh, handle your challenges, how to ease your bottlenecks and something like that. Uh, moreover, um, AI and machine learning are enablers of increasingly innovative and effective solutions directly impacting the market's acceleration and competitiveness and customers' experience and expectations. Uh, we are addressing two things, digital data after refinement, after processing, after using AI and machine learning, that would be very, very useful for us because we can have uh, an improved customer experience. We can have uh, some better answers uh, to our customers. We can decrease our costs. We can increase our revenue. Everything gonna be okay. And again, now, apart from data analytics, using AI and machine learning, we can move towards having more bots, having more automatic processes controlled by AI and machine learning. So uh, platform is digital transformation. Background, frame is digital transformation. After that, AI and machine learning can get into that and give us better results. Artificial intelligence of things, AIoT is a key factor over here. We have got IoT, now we can make it um, intelligent. Uh, conversational AI will help us, uh, something like chatbots, but intelligent chatbots. Uh, no code AI is there. We need, we don't need to uh, uh, be very smart and good programmers to use AI now on. We just can uh, use uh, modules ready to use, uh, ready to be used, uh, developed before, and we can combine those components and have our um, AI enabled uh, digitally transformed business. Machine learning and hyper automation are available here and uh, we can have AI on cloud services as well, where cloud service provider give us some options to use AI and machine learning services as well. We save our data on a cloud and now we can use uh, their services for AI and machine learning, uh, materialization as well. Let's have got a couple of real world examples. In, For instance, in retail sector, uh, these real world examples are going to show us three or four examples in different branches of businesses, are going to show us how AI and machine learning can be implemented in a digitally transformed business. Our uh, first example back to 2017, Domino Pizza adopted artificial intelligence and chatbot technology. Uh, this is in the retail sector. You know that a pizza, a, a chain of pizza uh, restaurants is a uh, retail sector business. Uh, intelligence and chatbots, AI and chatbots technology to create a conversational interface inside Facebook Messenger. 
no um, new app, but just using Facebook Messenger to get connected to your uh, customers. Customers who are uh, Facebook users, Facebook Messengers users. Ordering is streamlined, interactive, and uh, because it is in social media, no app or phone call is necessary to order your Domino pizzas. The frequency of orders has increased because people easily can use their Facebook Messenger to order their pizza. Um, this example refle reflects the strengths of AI in driving uh, sales. Uh, the numbers, the numbers, if I remember rightly, uh, mentioned a kind of 100% uh, increase in their revenue. 100% increase in Domino's pizza revenue after moving to this uh, business model uh, based on digital transformation and using machine learning to uh, uh, automate the orders in Facebook Messenger and 100% more revenue is very good. Just in a few years. Have a look at this. Uh, CAGR, this uh, diagram shows Domino Pizza's uh, revenue. Uh, in 2018, it was uh, 250. Just in um, 2022, it is around uh, 500. And they expect to have 817 billion USD in 2025, just three years later. So after four or five years, it is 100% more. And now they expect 200% more just in 2025. CAGR is 18.87%. Um, uh, a, a very good one. Actually, a very good. One. Uh, back to marketing. In 2012, uh, we have got Hasbro, which is a toy and game manufacturer. Uh, they did data mining and targeted the parents instead of kids. After data mining, they realized that parents are uh, influential in buying kids for uh, buying toys for their kids. So. They targeted them, a kind of targeted marketing, this time for parents. Targeted marketing promoting both nostalgic and newer brands. Nostalgic brands because parents know about them. In 2016, four years after that, the company broke the 5 billion sales uh, limit, sales plan. Uh, for that year and is on track for uh, 6 billion. Actually in 2021, they uh, reached 6 billion according to their plan. $6 billion and they uh, managed to uh, satisfy their goals, achieve their goals just by targeted marketing. One of them is, okay, using nostalgic uh, toys and games to encourage parents to buy for their kids. Data mining and machine learning uh, showed in the case of uh, Hasbro that they are effective after data analytics. They found some facts and used them to change their marketing and advertisement strategy and they were successful with that. Um, telehealth, if we want to have another example of real world applications of AI and machine learning in uh, our digital businesses and after digital transformation, uh, telehealth services like uh, Teladoc, MEMD, MD Live, uh, they are some services. Telemedicine or telehealth means that enabling users to receive care from healthcare professional using a webcam and a few wearable sensors. You have got webcam, uh, it captures you and a few wearable sensors send your uh, data 
uh, to uh, some professionals and they decide about how to help you. An advantage of digital transformation is better focus on customers, means patients, means people under uh, surveillance of that uh, telehealth or telemedicine uh, company. And that's certainly true with telehealth, which allows better care uh, in particular where um, health services are scarce, rural area in big countries, isolated uh, patients due to any reason, social reasons or geographical uh, reasons, they are isolated and they are far from any medical center and this way we can help them. Aging, etc. in big countries, in small countries, both is problematic, not to mention enabling on-demand format and more flexible services for patients. Uh, the telehealth market uh, in 2020, it was $144 billion. They believe that in 2028, the telehealth market would be more than 600 billion US dollars. The health care sector is migrating to electronic data management uh, more than now in all levels from a patient sign in uh, on electronic devices to record keeping and uh, a kind of blockchain based data warehouse. And all over this, there are machine learning and AI to analyze the data, to automate the processes and to help the patients because none of the telemedicine or telehealth companies have got enough experts to monitor the patients round the clock. No, it's not the case. It's not uh, the things uh, that happen in, rea in, in the real world, no. Uh, there are not enough uh, professional uh, uh, employees to monitor all the patients. Machines do that using webcams, using sensors. And then in urgent cases, okay, they alarm the professionals to take care of these particular patients. That's why after digital transformation, we need AI and machine learning. In the case of banking, one of the first examples of using AI and machine learning, okay, banks started a digital transformation much sooner than many businesses back to 1980s, 1990s. The 1980s, I believe, was the starting point of moving towards digital technology by banks. And then finally, uh, they realized that they need something to analyze the, the gathered data. Wells Fargo, Bank of America started that in 2013, other big multinational banks a bit later after that. Uh, relying on AI and machine learning on what? In the case of Wells Fargo and Bank of America, decision support in loan granting or in investment. Decision support services provided by AI and machine learning using digital data to help managers to make better decisions towards refusing or granting a loan or investing. Two important things in a life of a bank. Uh, reports uh, are saying that diminishing of wrong decision rate from 37% to 17%, almost half in five years between 2015 after implementation of that machine learning services for loan granting loan decision-making and investment decision-making. In five years, they managed to decrease the rate of wrong decisions in these two areas from 37% to 17%, less than half. And you know what does it mean? You definitely know that it means billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars for banks as big as Wells Fargo or BOA. And not all the international banks are doing that. UOB, DBS in Singapore, for example, are banks who do that. Uh, banks are more or less fully digital and automatic. Therefore, they are faster and more reliable because they are guardians of your money. 
and they uh, you you uh, trust them if they make better decisions. Uh, finally, the roadmap to implement that um, implementation of AI and machine learning in digital transformation, where to start? Okay, we should decide about that. Okay, our business is uh, undergoing digital transformation or no, it is fully digital now. How to use AI and machine learning? We should answer these questions. Where to start? How can data improve my customers? experience if we can find somewhere we can start using AI and machine learning in our digital company uh, from that point should i hire someone means if you need some experts in ai and machine learning should i invest in a database okay internal database external database because ai machine learning needs those digital data but uh, if we need we need if we, it is needed we should do that have enough data to generate intelligence? Okay, we need big data to have good AI and machine learning. Therefore, uh, you should decide if your data is big enough to guarantee a kind of good machine learning uh, application. Again, the roadmap uh, of implementation AI and machine learning is collect data, store it properly, do data exploration means extracting some uh, useful information from your data. Uh, Real-time operation and extraction, transactions, et cetera, and extraction of data while it's being generated. Then using that stored data and online real-time operational data to do prediction and finally optimization of your business prediction for decision making optimization to making your revenue higher to make your business more fluent faster less costly and more profitable uh, this prediction and optimization or ultimate stages in implementation of ai and machine learning in any digital business to conclude to fully understand digital transformation, we should know that it is inevitable. Digital transformation is inevitable. We are uh, in the middle of that, efficient and essential. But to have it more efficient and more essential, we need to add AI and machine learning to that as well. Digital transformation is the process of replacing or enhancing traditional business processes with digital technology. The goal is to improve and streamline processes at all levels. And again, over here, to gain maximum, you need AI and machine learning to be implemented inside your digital business. All through the digital transformation or after that, when your new uh, digital business is running. Today, literally every example of digital transformation requires some form of machine learning, AI. A significant element of data analytics and support from artificial intelligence models. These three should be there in your digital business and then you can gain uh, from that. Okay, uh, that's it. However, um, over here you can see a list of references, uh, some good references to help you with understanding uh, digital transformation and the role of AI and machine learning uh, on that uh, in details. Uh, I'm going to give you